And another woman that could take your spot, my Y'all might not be able to hear me. I just got off work and I finally found my shade and makeup. And I went shopping for me. Uh, I'm going to show y'all what I got when I get to the house. But right now, I'm going to grab some food and catch the train to get home. So, I'll see y'all when I get home. Y'all, I'm almost home. But I had to come up on here and say something real quick for y'all. <laughs> and then we're going to get back to the video. <laughs> this soft girl lifestyle is so goddamn expensive. So damn expensive. Like, tomboy lifestyle was so cheap. So pleasing. Like, didn't really have to do much. Buy much. Like, you know. But now that I'm really, like, getting into tapping into tapping into my feminine side more and transitioning into this like tomboy soft girl era that's like where I'm at right now now that I'm like transitioning into like that like this lifestyle is is saying that I should move bricks for El Chapo like no funny shit I'm not even gonna hold you this lifestyle is really like expensive i should be moving bricks for chapo but <laughs> my bank account <laughs> says that i should be budgeting and saving every motherfucking coin <laughs> okay but i'm almost home when i get home i'm gonna show y'all all of the stuff that i got from my job and some of some of the pro well i want to say some of the products one of the products i saw on tiktok and i was like okay y'all making this product out to be the, the shit so i gotta i gotta try it out like it's only right that i test it now that i'm getting into the makeup field i should test it and i'm gonna test it for y'all so see y'all when i get in the house good morning so i said that i was gonna show y'all what show y'all what i got from my job but i had fell asleep <laughs> So, I'm going to show y'all now. Okay, so the first thing that I got was this Real Techniques brush cleansing set. It came with two gels and this little palette. I also got uh, uh, the big bottle. So, I won't have to use these small bottles. I, just, I mean, these small packets. I just use this when it run out. Um, aside from that, I got like a set of, uh, of brushes. It was like a, I think like a, a eye set. So it came with this little brush, this little brush, and then this, uh, like fine tip brush with a spoolie on the end. And then I got the e.l.f clear brow lift this stuff really works i saw this on tiktok i saw this on tiktok and i'm like let me see if my job got it and they had it and this stuff like really like really gets the job done with lifting the brows it really gets the job done tiktok did not lie to me about that product Okay, moving on. Um, I got foundation and concealer, both by Maybelline and both in my shade. Um, this is the 30 hour foundation in the shade 340. And then this is the 30 hour concealer in the shade 45. Um, I've been matching my shade to like every single brand. MAC, Fenty, um, what else was I matching it with? Bobbi Brown. I was matching it with uh, Urban Decay, Tarte, but I'm, I'm, I don't really use Tarte like that. I was matching it with e.l.f. as well. e.l.f. is really good for people that got dry skin. Sort of say myself. I got dry skin, so I'm definitely going to like try 
e.l.f.'s concealer. I don't know what they foundation because their foundation look a little weird. The foundation that I saw in like little small little mini bottles, it looked like water. Like I saw one at my job and it was just sitting there for like a nice little minute. And like it let the foundation and like whatever else was in it, it looked like water. It separated. And I was like, yeah. I might just use like the new foundation that they just came that just came out the like the little glow finish foundation. I just might use that instead. But aside from that, I got two beauty blend the <laughs> What the fuck is that, man? I got two beauty blenders, and this time, oh, all my beauty blenders are so dirty, which is why I'm so happy that I got the uh, Real Techniques um, cleansing gel and the little palette, so I can clean. All of my brushes, all of my beauty blenders, so they can look brand new because they look like don't nobody love them, and it's it's me that don't love them. <laughs> I got Ulta Beauty's matte finishing powder foundation. I think is it foundation? No, it's just a finishing powder in the color tan warm. That matches my skin well too. I got this small blush from Essence. I think the name of it is Believe It, but if it's not, then it don't have a name. It's just the blush, but this is a really nice color as well. I was trying to find the color that I was basically trying to find a similar color to this Too Faced um, blush. I love Too Faced blush so much. It is so pretty, but I couldn't find it. So, uh, I just, I couldn't find, like, a, a replica to it. So, I just got this instead. So, I got an LA Girl Precision Pencil in the shade Brown. It's really a lip pencil, but knowing me, I just might use it for my brows. So, yeah. I'm going to use it for my lips, too, but I'm definitely going to use it for my brows, because... I need me a brow pencil. And I don't feel like paying like $14 for the NYX brow pencil that come with the spoolie at the end. Y'all tripping. I could just go to the beauty supply store and get like some hollow dollar eyeliner. I mean eyebrow pencils. Simple as that. Um, but I also got this NYX Wonder Stick in the shade medium tan. It comes with a highlighter on one end and a contour on the other and this highlighter is very pretty very very pretty this is like so like a golden almost like like tan ish but it's cute, it's yeah. cute. lastly i got the ardell uh fox mink lashes and if you want a natural look for a lash the the demi wispies are like the best lash to go to if you want a natural look like i can't do like the overly dramatic lashes because my i feel like my eyes are like so small and the lashes be overly big like y'all see my eyes my eyes i feel like they're so small and with those big old lashes on i feel like it just like suffocates my eye so yeah i got that well that's that's in the first ulta bag so this is basically a better visual of all the stuff that I got. Uh, you can go check it out on my TikTok. So go follow me on TikTok if you're not following me already at Simply Zay. All of this stuff was fairly cheap. I spent about like $54, maybe $55 to like round it out. Um, but yeah, this stuff was fairly cheap. If you're a loyalty member, you can get discounts and points off. So go ahead, become a loyalty member because I am. And I definitely want to save a little coin. Okay literally the more you spend the more points you rack up and the more money you get back inside your ulta account that you can literally go back to ulta and re-spend i got me another all i got me something else but i really didn't get me something else i really just uh got gratis at work and gratis is basically like you get free product so yeah and that's what this is i got free product yesterday so the free product that I got yesterday is by Clinique. Um, yesterday, um, one of the like Clinique workers or 
I don't know how do how do you what do you call them, but one of the people that like work for Clinique came up to my job and was basically training us on their brand, just like the lady from Too Faced did. She came up and trained us on her brand, but she didn't give us free product. She just did like she just did my makeup for me and helped me find my shade in her in the Too Faced brand. Oh, wait, can you take this behind my ear? Yes, I love it. But, um, Clinique came up to our job, trained us, and then gave us free product. Now, normally, gratis products are really just, like, mini and travel size. We never get, like, the, the actual full, full bottle of a product, which was so surprising that I got the full bottle. I was like... Y'all feeling merry, merry, merry today. Y'all feeling real generous today, giving us full product. I love y'all. So, the first product that I got is, what's this? Take the Day Off Clinique Cleansing Balm. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Now, this stuff, oh my God. So, the lady had us write, uh, like, words on our hands i had dirt she had uh somebody else had pollution and it was like some old words like that she had us right on our hand and like a marker not really a marker but like um like an eyeliner pencil so she had that she had us write that on our hand and this stuff like really did the motherfucking trick with like getting the makeup off my hand and with this one, it's I feel it's almost like an oil base because it left my hand like really, really moisturized, and I got dry skin, so I be needing hella oil on my shit. My shit be looking like the desert, but this one look like inside the thing. It's clear. You just like wipe it on a rag and like wipe it on your face, and your makeup will come off. I ain't gonna makeup on right now to actually show y'all and demonstrate it, but yeah, that's what it do, and I love it. It don't got no smell to it either, so that's nice too. So the next product I got is the Clinique Clarifying Lotion Twice a Day Exfoliator in 1.0, which is my skin type. Um, I'm really just assuming that it's an exfoliator, and I put this on my face before I wash it because, like, I haven't used it yet. And the lady didn't even, like, demonstrate, like, which order this go in. But I'm pretty sure, like, this one goes first. This one, like, definitely goes first. Aside from that, I got the All About Clean Liquid Facial Soap. Now, this might be the cleaner. This might be the cleaner. This one is, like, the exfoliator. So, I put this on first. And then, I put this one on to cleanse my face. And this one really... It don't really smell like nothing. This... This smell like proactive. It really smell like proactive. And I hate proactive, but I'm going to still give this a try because I've never used Clinique in my life. I feel like it's for older people. Like, all I really see is older people buying Clinique, which is probably why I never use it. <laughs> I use CeraVe to clean my face. So, yeah. Um, lastly... It's a dramatically different moisturizing lotion. It's a pump. So, yeah. This is it. And this is for very dry to dry combination skin. And like I said, I got very dry fucking skin. Like, super dry. I'm going to open it and show y'all how it looks. This is how it looks. Let me see. And then it comes with like a little pump so you can pump it out. And that one goes on last. It's the lotion, like, for moisturizing. So I know, like, where that one goes, like, the order for that one. But it's just the other two that I'm really, like, concerned about. Like, what order do I put those in? Which one go first? Um, but that's about it for my little mini haul that I got from Ulta. Um... It's a lot more coming, y'all. 
is definitely like a lot more coming this is not the end this is not the end so i'll be back go ahead like comment subscribe share this with your peoples you know they want to see it